Welcome to the Crush It in Sales podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet. This podcast focuses on the intersection of sales, leadership, and personal development. So let's get ready to crush it. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me this week on the Crush It in Sales podcast. As always, I value your time, and I know there are a lot of podcasts out there, so I always appreciate it when I hear from listeners that you have chosen to listen to this one. Thank you very much. This week, I want to talk about a clip that I have taken from episode 100 of the Good Karma Success Coach podcast, which is my other podcast, which focuses more on personal development into spiritual development. And that podcast was with Joanna Hunter. Joanna Hunter lives in Scotland and she's a spiritual life and business coach. And she's also the creator of an experiment I'm in. It's a manifesting experiment, which begins January 1st of 2021. So coming up in about a month. And she created this experiment through divine, uh, her her spirit guides, um, giving her information. So it's really, really cool. It's only $25.00. And I'm an affiliate for it. You can be an affiliate too. And uh, that's what's really cool about this whole experiment is it's about global abundance. So I had asked her to be on the podcast, the Good Karma Success Coach podcast, and we chatted for two hours. So (laughs) she is so cool. We chatted before the podcast and then the podcast is long and then we chatted after the podcast. And I just learned so much from her. I loved chatting with her. A lot of things that I have intuitive thoughts about uh, came up with her in regards to just thought processes. And it was just really awesome. And I love when I can speak with someone who, who gets all of this and can help me even reframe some things. So in that, one of the segments is about taking action. And if you follow me, you know I'm really big on taking action. I'm a huge action taker. The list of things that my husband and I have accomplished since we've been together, and even if you just break it down this year, even with COVID and all the challenges that have been out there, have just been about the fact that we took action. And sometimes, yeah, the action might have to be changed or you might have to pivot or you might have to stop. But I'm always so glad and thankful and appreciative that I am someone who takes action. And what's been interesting is as I'm working on our first book, um, which is about confidence for couples, and I hope to be ready to release that in early 2021, I'm doing an even bigger deep dive into myself and into my husband and how we work together. One of those things that has recently come up is about taking action. So all these things are just kind of going into my blender of thoughts. And that's why I wanted to share with you. So it's funny because sometimes I beat myself up a little bit that I'm such an action taker and I sometimes have to change or stop or pivot. And I would say maybe it's, I don't even know, I should maybe do a little deep dive there, but let's say 25% of the time I have to, you know, either say, oh, this isn't really a good idea or change it somehow. And that's because I take action really quickly. My husband, Ryan, is an action taker, however, he thinks about things a little bit more than I do. I jump pretty quickly. He might take a little bit of time to process it. He's definitely more of a researcher brain. Um, It's funny, even his background and how that allows him to even be such an amazing fisherman is he's a researcher. And so it's a little bit of variance even in our household in regards to taking action, which I find is fascinating. The segment that I pulled from the Good Karma Success Coach interview with Joanna Hunter is about the five types of personalities and traits she has found with her experiment in regards to taking action. 
So again, the experiment's $25, which to me, if you have money mindset around $25 and spending $25, that's something to definitely work on. I'm going to be really honest and transparent there because $25 is like nothing. $25 is, you know, a couple Starbucks coffees, right? Think about it. Like it, $25, you can easily get $25 back. So she thought in doing this experiment, you know, $25 is a no brainer. And it's a year long of teachings and learnings and her sharing things and community. And the goal is to make a million dollars by following her steps and tools and guidelines and listening to various interviews from other millionaires. So it's really cool. I thought it was a no brainer. And it's been interesting in this space that I keep coming up against this, that people just don't take action. Um, Another example is my weight release. I lost 40 pounds in three months. Like if you need to lose some weight, why wouldn't you call me? Right. But people just don't, they don't take the action. So again, this is just all coming together in the blender. Another way of looking at things, another person's findings that I just find fascinating. And because I'm also experiencing people not taking action, it just really resonated. This conversation and her findings really resonated with me. So I'm going to leave it up now to the segment of that interview so she can walk you through her five action-taking personality types that she has um, uncovered during her time of launching this experiment. And I want you to think about it. This is why I'm, I'm doing this podcast. I want you to listen to what she's saying and think about it. What are you? What are you? Because not everyone is in bucket number one. Most people are in one of the other four buckets. And think about it. And think about, are these blocks for you? Is this something that you should work on? Are you wondering why your business isn't moving forward? Are you wondering why there's dreams and goals and real challenges and, and things you have going on in your life that just aren't changing? They're not moving forward. Can you see yourself in one of these buckets? And that's what I want you to think about as you listen to this interview. like experiments within experiments is bizarre. It's like one of the things like I, to me, I was like, of course people are going to jump in at $25. Like, of course it's going to be like, <laughs> you know, and so when I did the launch kind of party of it, um, and that was to like my existing audience, people were, they were wanted to be part of the million dollar experiment before they even knew the price. They were like, Oh my God, this is amazing. Like, and you know, people wrote the, funniest things in the comments when I revealed the price it's like you will get all this for $25 and people one person wrote shut up and take my money it was yeah. like <laughs> it was so funny and people were like oh my god like I think I've just died you know this is what the comment thread was looked like so I was really like of course everyone's going to be like this is the thing and then um we started getting like reports from people saying you know like people are asking if it's a scam and I'm like what Oh. Your mind didn't even go there, right? Because it's no, my mind hadn't even gone there. I was like, yeah, oh. and and I was like, right, okay. Um, no, I am a real lady on the internet. It is not my desire to wake up in the morning and be like, hey, let's scam the internet today. You know, especially twenty five dollars. Like, yeah, I I think I make my scam a little bigger. <laughs> so. Well, if I was gonna pay, you know, if I was gonna break the law like that, do you know what I mean? Like, it would make it worth it, you know. And I was yeah. like, wow, okay, and um, and so. I was really like it was really shocked and then one of the things that I've discovered is really like there's all like almost like there's five categories of people mm -hmm. the first people the first category are like you they see it and they're like are you kidding me like oh my god I'm all over this yes it's like a full body yes straight away they're willing to jump in you're like it's 25 bucks like I'm not even like yeah. there's no way I can lose in this right right 
then there is this the second category like are insistent on licking the gift horse in the mouth and the funny thing is with this category people have actually asked for the thing that we're delivering so they've asked you know like they want to earn more money or they want to bring in they want to manifest more money and things like that and here it is like the, the gift is here and and they're like <laughs> insistent like what's wrong with it why is it 25 dollars? Like, they want to know all the things <laughs> you know um then you've got like a third category which i've only just started kind of appreciating because they've been like hanging back and watching what everybody else is doing mm. and they're living their life on the sidelines and they're kind of like really really hanging back and they're like ooh, um you know oh my goodness you know like this is um i'll just wait until enough people have joined and when we reached 500 participants which we reached just recently um a lot of those sideline people jumped in and was like boom then the the next category is a category that wait for the last minute so we probably will have like a lot of signups like on the 30th and 31st of December. And, and they have probably wanted to join this experiment since the beginning, but for some reason have held back, held back, held back. And, you know, and then they'll jump in right at the end and they're like the last, what I call the last minute Annie's, you know, the last minute in the go. And then, you know, the, the last category are like, you could tell them that you're going to give them the formula for like gold bullions and how to turn lead into gold. And they're, they would still be like, no, no, <gasps> no, no, too much work. No. Too much money. Yeah. Like, no. Too much time. And, and it's, it's so funny because, you know, I didn't like, I, I just thought like, of course it's going to be like a no brainer. Like, cause that's how I would have been. I'd be like, Oh my God, I would have been all over this if I'd seen it myself, you know? And it's so funny because it's made me really appreciate because I've also um, started to realize like the people who live on the sidelines, for instance, this is the, this is the energy block that they have to overcome Mm -hmm. because their intuition told them to jump into this much sooner, but they insisted on waiting to see what everybody else was doing. Mm -hmm. And if you look at a subsection of their lives, I'm pretty pretty confident i will see that energy again and again and again for them and the same with the last minute annies they will you know they had an opportunity to be in the container for months and then they wait to the very very last minute and um again if you look into their lives you'll probably find that energy again and again and again and the gift horse people um is a, a, a huge lack of trust and so therefore again they're looking at gift horse in the mouth and they're examining it and oh why is it only this price and oh like this but actually if you look at their lives you probably find that this is also an energy that shows up in their lives again and again and again um and then the people who just said yes i'm just going to jump in these are the people who are willing to take that extra jump they're willing to do something they've never done before and that is an essential ingredient in creating anything new in your life is that you have to be willing to do something you've never done before in order to get a result that you've never had before Mm. yeah and so it's interesting because I'm my little science head is on and I'm like hmm I wonder how this is all going to pan out for how people are jumping into the experiment because you can really see these very five distinct energies of how people are responding to them to the advert i mean one of the one of um we we asked the internet to ask us questions we did a video on it recently and one of the questions was is this a scam i saw your video i thought it was great i was like oh my gosh i was like oh my goodness it was so like i you know obviously i was the jumper i didn't even look at what it entailed i was like like this is freaking genius sign me up so um so then when it said scam yeah my head went to scam like i would never think of a scam like who thought of that so yeah I know, it's so crazy like it's so crazy but it also like i also feel like that that is a ref- it's not a reflection of me you know like i think that's what the the thing that people think is like when they were met with energy like that they often like start to look at themselves and think oh, god do people think of that about this you know but it's actually 
a reflection of the person that asks things like that. Yes. And it also tells them, it also tells me how they're going to get results in life. And it isn't until often, very much often, that we are willing to overcome that type of behavior um, in our own selves, that we can actually become a person that is an action taker or a jumper, that jumps in quickly and acts, responds quickly because the intuition, the energy is saying, yes, yes, yes. And they're able to act on that. But it isn't that these people, the energy isn't saying yes 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 to them the energy is saying yes 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 to them they're just not giving themselves permission to act on it oh wow and are you finding a correlation with that behavior in the millionaires you're you've been interviewing and talking to the millionaires that i've spoken to are yes 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 people they would be like in feet first straight away um, one of the one of the women that I spoke to is Denise Duffield Thomas um, of the the Lucky Bitch Boot Camp and uh, Money Boot Camp is what it's called now and um, she's a Hay House author as well and uh, she said this beautiful quote that I really love and it was like you have to choose yourself and you have to keep choosing yourself. Wow! Wow! No, and that- it's so true. It's so true. You have to choose yourself and you have to keep choosing yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you're choosing yourself, then you don't have time to lick the gift horse in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's so true. That is so true. I love that. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. So I ask you this, what did you think? What did you think about yourself in regard to taking action? So I'll just recap them really quick. Number one is you take action, and that is me for sure. I take action. Number two, you kick the gift horse in the mouth. It's too good to be true. You are doubting it. You are challenging it. And often the things that you think are too good to be true are things that are offered. Number three, you're on the sideline. You're a follower. You're watching and waiting for others. So in essence, as you're watching and waiting for others, you're losing time. You're missing out on opportunities. Number four, your last minute. So again, you're missing out on time and what could have happened in those few months between now and the final day to sign up, you're missing out on, in this example, building community, any videos or things she wants to share. For me, it was the fact I took action and then I asked her to be on this podcast. So I did like a double action. And number five, the doubters. It's just the people that are still not going to do it. So you have an opportunity to learn how to make a million dollars in a year and it's 25 bucks and you still said no. So what are you? Think about it. And one of the questions I asked her later in the conversation was about taking action like I take action in regards to the millionaires that she has interviewed. And the millionaires that that she has interviewed are the people that take the action. They take the action. They just do it. And so that kind of put my mind at ease a little bit. Even though I'm still going to get a little better at waiting maybe a day and thinking about a couple things here and there if it doesn't quite jump at me. But um, in general, I'm still going to always be an action taker. So as we're coming up on 2021, seriously think about those things and how can you approve upon them? If you are interested in working with me Privately, one-on-one, you can always reach out to me for a free discovery call. My email is melinda at melindavanfleet.com. You can easily Google it. It's in all the show notes. You can connect with me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. My handle on Instagram is melinda underscore vanfleet. My website that the blogs are attached to and the freebies is goodkarmasuccesscoach.com. And I would love to help you. I would love to see how your life can become more abundant. And I will also put the link, my affiliate link for my million dollar experiment in the show notes as well. Again, it's $25 and you can be an affiliate too. So think about it, get two 
people, two of your friends to sign up or your family members. How fun is that? I think this whole thing just sounds really fun. And then you get your 25 bucks back, right? So it's super easy. I'm only doing this to share because I just think it sounds fun. And I loved her learnings about taking action. And I wanted to share that as well. So I hope you love this podcast. I would love to hear from you. Please, as always, feel free to reach out or leave a rating and review on Apple. And until next time, I hope you crush it in sales. Thanks for listening.